I guess in this film, he sort of finds himself in the middle of the worst possible day he could possibly have. You know, Rayshawn's an ex-Marine. He comes up upon an undercover police officer who tries to set him up. Just as he's trying to back out of this situation, he realizes that, you know, it's almost too late and he tries to escape and he finds solitude in his apartment with his wife and his five-year-old essentially barricading himself inside the house. I'm here to listen. I play a character called Stephen Pointsy, a lieutenant with the police department who somehow winds up becoming the person that Rayshawn is willing to speak to in the midst of this whole sort of standoff between himself and the police. Yeah, I'm going to play as long as you want, okay? Right. Go to the back room, you stay quiet. Go I hope that Free Rayshawn, that it challenges perspectives a little bit. You know, I think that oftentimes when we hear about these stories in the media, you know, we never really get the full scope of it. Free Ray Sean allows us to, to see it from the perspective of these police officers, but to also see it from the perspective of Ray Sean, you know, literally to be in his apartment with him and to understand how this whole thing went down and how, you know, this situation has sort of left him, you know, back against the walls, if you will. Hopefully people will get something that they need from this. Hopefully people will be able to recognize themselves in this. Hopefully this piece will, you know, continue conversations about these issues and the way in which we sort of interact with the police and the way they interact with us.